follow, Jory. We are Decatur. Decatur, welcome. Are you ready? Absolutely. Yes. Please proceed. I am Mayor Patty Garrett, and I'm so proud that our quirky little city in the heart of the Peach State is a finalist for an All-America City Award. While we try not to break the rules, we are prone to bending them. <laughs> Since we could not offer you an electronic PowerPoint presentation, we decided to give you a human one instead. We hope y'all enjoy it. <laughs> On a massive boulder outside of the Decatur City Hall lies a plaque that briefly tells the history of our fair city and identifies it as a city of homes, schools, and places of worship. It is a city that was recently ranked number one out of 322 jurisdictions nationwide for the job that our outstanding city employees do in welcoming citizen engagement. We proudly represent Decatur, Georgia, the city that the New York Times once identified as a lovely little hamlet uh, where Mayberry meets Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> we are a city of festivals that takes every opportunity we can to show off our beautiful town square and our historic buildings. However, our oasis in the center of Georgia was not always a wellspring of inclusive civic engagement. In the 1960s, Decatur was bombarded by suburban sprawl. Things got even worse in the 70s. 35 years ago, the city created a long-term redevelopment plan that continues to serve as our blueprint for economic renewal. Very few are in a better position than Peggy Maris, Decatur's current city manager and long-term employee to discuss that turnaround. The foundation of our community engagement efforts began in the late eight, early 1980s with a town center plan, a community-driven plan that for economic revitalization that started with smart growth principles before people knew what smart growth was. In 1999, a series of conversations with 800 stakeholders resulted in our 2000 strategic plan whose vision for the city was we would be a place that would uh, have a high quality of life for residents, businesses, and visitors today and in the future. Ten years later, and 1,500 people contributed to the drafting of our 2010 strategic plan, part of which is a focus on making sure our community stays engaged and appreciates diversity. As you can see, the economic revitalization effort produced a thriving city center. Today, our leadership is embarked on a similar social revitalization effort, driven by a relentless commitment to equity, inclusion, and engagement. In 2015, approximately 800 citizens contributed more than 1,300 hours to create the Better Together Community Action Plan for equity, inclusion, and engagement. Motivated by concerns about racial profiling, citizens and city officials knew we could do better. They knew we could be better. But in order to do so, we had to act together. A series of engaging and at times tense conversations birthed an action plan containing specific action items for individuals, our community organizations, and city officials to cultivate a more just, welcoming and compassionate city. One big step towards that was the creation of the Better Together Advisory Board. Here we have Jamila Rashid, a current Better Together Advisory Board member, describing. I am one of a 12-person, extremely diverse board. Our goal is to provide outreach that promotes equity, inclusion, and engagement. At the heart of our efforts is a robust, yet evolving assets map. That, dip, that facilitates deeper connections between community organizations and city officials. Decatur is comprised of citizens and city leaders dedicated to cultivating an equitable and inclusive city, developing diverse and affordable housing, and institutionalizing racially just community policing. 2015 was also an outstanding year for the Decatur Police Department 
It ushered in the start of an ambitious three-year strategic plan that emphasized improved communications and community policing. Our police department was fully aware that changes in community relations required a cultural change, not just some mere tinkering with policy. This shift in culture began with a change in the language that was used to describe our officers. Understanding that words matter, and new words have the capacity to create new norms and revitalize old relations, our officers began to refer to themselves as community relations officers that enforce the law. <laughs> One of several examples of them living up to the name of community relations officers is the football franks and the fuzz program that allowed police officers to use flag football as a means to build relationships with neighborhood kids the changes didn't stop there we turned to mike booker city of decatur police chief to tell us about some of our myriad of other successes I'm extremely proud of our Citizens Police Academy that's grown from seven participants in 2012 to now having a waiting list. In addition to that, we've offered 30 educational classes pertaining from different topics from uh, sex trafficking to financial fraud. We've also uh, established uh, a Junior Police Academy that continues to have a waiting list as well. We have offered a free self-defense class that has trained over 300 women. And in closing, I'd like to say that our department has done an outstanding job in increasing our efforts within our community. Well, much credit should be given to our community relations officers for developing an engaging strategic plan. We should also acknowledge that partnership that they forged with the Better Together Advisory Board. That partnership produced the What is Suspicious brochure that is used to educate community members on the difference between identifying a potentially unlawful act and suspecting a person of illegality solely based on their identity. There are just so many reasons to love Decatur. We love that our government officials are so transparent that they invite folks to annually come out to touch our trucks and our budgets. We love that our city is just so dang weird that we post, uh, post signs about poop fairies all around town as if they are some of our beloved childhood Disney characters. But most of all, most of all, we love that our city eagerly and relentlessly embraces all of us as Decatur. We are Decatur! This commitment to embracing, relishing, and loving the many shades and dispositions of Decatur is seen in the city's support for the Decatur resident and photographer Beata Sass's I Am Decatur project. I Am Decatur is a collection of 32 eclectic portraits and stories of individuals who make Decatur totally sweet and awesome. Partnering with the Better Decatur Arts Alliance, the Decatur Education Foundation, and the Decatur Better Decatur Advisory Board, I Am Decatur ultimately became a brilliant public arts exhibit on the Decatur Square and part of a special We Are Decatur Sunday Supper Community Conversation. Approximately 150 diverse people attended the conversation, including both the subjects of Beata's project and the members of the broader community. While the I Am Decatur display and the community conversation were both amazing, the highlight of the show was Faiza a Decatur High School student. Her soul-stirring poetry left everyone speechless. We were lucky enough to capture it on video. Electric Avenue, Commerce Drive, Robin Street. When I walk, I walk with dreams and my feet hold steady and repeat. A young activist ready to take the lead. I now turn it over to our Mayor Pro Tem to conclude our presentation. As Mayor Pro Tem of this great city, I second Mayor Garrett's appreciation for honoring Decatur as an All-America City finalist. And I hope that at the end of tomorrow's evening's festivities, we are an All-America City. I cannot say it'll bring me as much pride or joy as representing my hometown, the city of Decatur. We hope to see y'all at one of our festivals real soon, but just remember, don't park your wagon or buggy on the town square. <laughs> Thanks again for having us. And just in case y'all forgot, we, we are Decatur! Decatur!